Okay, so today we're going to look at the uh, random variables and probability distributions. This is all part of our descriptive methods for assessing normality section that we've been talking about so much. Okay, so our goal for today is we want to learn several techniques for assessing whether or not data appears to come from a normal distribution. One of the key assumptions is that we have statistical tests and inferences for, for many of these is that the data comes from a normal distribution. Sorry about that. Comes from a normal distribution. There are several descriptive methods and we're going to look at four of them right now. The first one is going to be constructing a histogram, a dot plot, and stem and leaf plot for data, and note the shape of the graph. There should be some uh, characteristic of a normal distribution or a symmetric bell shape. So we're looking for something that looks something like that. Next, we're going to want to compute the intervals. Uh, x with uh, plus or minus s, x plus or minus 2s, and 3s, and, and so forth. Uh, those being the um, s's, of course, deviations. And we're looking for somewhere around 90, 90 uh, 68, 95, and 99.9 .9 for those uh, to be computed at. And then we want to find the quartile range, the IQR, and see how many standard deviations or s that those are. Then the last one, number four up here, sorry I didn't fit on the earlier slide, we want to examine normal probability data for, or plot for data. So what is that? Well, it's right here. Let's see, what are we talking about? We're talking about the scatter plot of data, which is ranked data. The values exist on one axis, and their corresponding expected z-scores from a standard normal distribution on the other axis. So we're looking at straight lines, which include normality, or indicate normality, and curved lines, which here, depending on the curve, describes how the data deviates from normality. So in Excel, uh, you're going to be looking at these things here. This is an example of assessing whether or not a sample uh, tensile strength measurements is normally distributed. So we're going to go to charts and plots right here. And we're going to go to create a histogram right here. Then we're going to choose a strength and use the blue arrow to put the strength in the quantitative variable box. So we want strength here. And of course, it says strength over here. We're working about talking about histograms here. Then click OK down here. Now, if it's normally distributed, uh, the histogram should be bell shaped. And if we use our imagination here, this is kind of bell shaped. Um, it's mounted. It's a little low on the right, so it has a high, higher values. And sometimes it's harder to see these with smaller sample sizes. So if we had more samples, uh, we may find, we may end up with more, uh, more results lining up over in here, which ultimately could give us more of the traditional bell curve. This is arguably pretty close to 1.3. It's not exactly, but it's close. And you can see our computing intervals that we get from this here based on our data and our calculations. Now we want to look at conditional formatting. For that, we're going to go here to the box and we're going to be using the condition formatting cells to highlight the values that fell in respective intervals. So here's our formatting. We're looking at intervals between here or numbers that fall between here and here. And this is going to be our result. 
this will be what our chart looks like. And we should find things that are within six, about 67% of them with within uh, one standard deviation and 100% are within um, two or three of the mean. Then we want to create a normal uh, probability plot. Here's how we set this up. Normal probability plot here. Again, we're looking for strength. And then we're going to OK it. This is an example of what you'll find. Normally, the probability plot seems to be fairly straight. An IQR criteria. Intervals 1 and 2 and 3, as well as a histogram, seem reasonably normal. So we can conclude that it's reasonable to assume that data appears to come from a normal distribution in this example. So in summary, we want to first assess the normality of the data, and we want to use a combination of techniques. We talked about four, and the four descriptive techniques are constructing the histogram, computing the intervals, computing the IQR over S, and then examining the normal probability plot of data and to see if the data make a straight line and if we have that bell-shaped curve then we know we've got a pretty normal plot. The end.